Hi year 10, today's lesson is on area and circumference of a circle and I'm going to make it a bit harder by having it, doing it without a calculator today. So we're going to start by looking at area and I'll go through this work example on the left, I'll do it in silence then talk through it and then you can have a go at the your turn one. So first one we're going to do is where we have this length given to us and it says it's 10 centimeters. So I'll do this one in silence, then talk through it, then you can have a go at it. Okay, so first thing to note is that I'm writing down and lots of people that were in my class last year will be familiar with this, is something called DRAC. D stands for diameter, remember that's the length that goes through the centre and touches either side. My radius is half of that, that's how I got from there. Diameter to radius is divided by 2. My area, now this is something I just need to remember, it's a formula I need to remember, it's pi r squared, circumference pi d. Remember there's that song that we can listen to if we can't remember that. Uh, so, the figures are then used, well I know this is area, just because I'm working out the area of this circle, so I know I'm going to need this one, that's what my A stands for. And area uses the radius, so I know I'm going to need this as well. So then I've used my formula, and instead of putting r squared, I've put 5 squared because 5 is the radius. Now I'm doing this without a calculator, so all I've done to get from this line to this line is I've done 5 squared so 5 squared is 25 that's all that's changed there and then notice that my final answer because it's non-calculator I've left my answer in terms of pi so if ever anything asks for in terms of pi or if it's on a non-calculator it's going to be asking you for this um, in terms of pi so all I've done is pi just acts a bit like an x or or just a letter in terms of algebra in, in algebra. Um, so I can just leave my answer as 25 pi centimeter squared. Should all be on the same line really, but I ran out of space. And that's the same as if it was calculator, I could type 25 pi into my calculator and I'd get 78. So just 78.3 blah 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 blah, which makes sense because pi is roughly 3.1. So leaving your answer in terms of pi, you would just leave your final answer as 25 pi. Right, chance for you to have a go at one now. And your one, we're going to say that that length is 20 centimetres. So pause the video, have a go at it, and then I'll go through it now. So my final answer is 100 pi centimetre squared. That's my answer in terms of pi. I've done it without a calculator. The only calculation I really had to do was 10 squared, which is 100. Everything else was just, I just needed to know that was the diameter, the radius, 
area and circumference, you just need to memorize those formula, formulae. Right, next up, let's have a go at circumference. And we'll do a similar sort of thing with we'll the work example here. And then your turn. First one I'm going to do. Let's call that five. Let's call it five meters. Obviously, these aren't drawn to scale. Okay, I'll do this, then I'll talk through it, and then I'll make one up for your turn. So that's it in terms of my working. I started with, I'm given my radius here. Remember, radius is from center to edge. Um, then to get my diameter, I know that diameter is double that length, so I've just times it by two. Then there's my formula that I need to remember. Area is pi r squared, circumference is pi d. So then I've just put this into my formula. I know I need to use circumference. So I've just done pi times 10 because that's pi times d. And then I can just rewrite that as 10 pi. The reason the reason I write it like that is just because in algebra normally the 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 number comes first. Something called the coefficient would come first. So 10 pi. If I wanted to work that out. That would be about um, that would be about thirty uh, sorry thirty one meters. Remember the circumference is the distance from say I started here and walked all the way around it. Then that's my circumference. I'm saying that distance that I would walk is thirty one meters. Right, your turn. Okay, go for it. So that's your final answer. Done it all without a calculator. My answer is just 20 pi meters. That's what the M stands for. So I'm saying that, well, let's work out roughly what it is, or if I type it into my calculator, 20 pi is equal to about 60, 62 ish meters. So we're saying that from any point on this circle, if I walk all the way around it, and back to where I started, that that circle would be 62 meters. Right. Uh, hopefully you've got all of those down in your book now. Can you just have a go at this question? And then I'll go through it. So pause the video, give yourself a chance to do it, and then I'll go through it now. It's a semicircle. Oops. and it's got a radius of 3 so I know from my drag that I can write out 3 well if the radius is 3 diameter must be 6 my area is pi r squared and my circumference is pi d well, what am I being asked to work out work out the perimeter of this semicircle in terms of pi perimeter well the circumference of a circle is just a it's just a fancy name for the perimeter when it's a when it's a circle. Remember, the perimeter is 
all around the outside of the shape. So I know I'm going to need this and the circumference uses the diameter. So if I worked out the perimeter of it as if it was a circle, because it's, it's a semicircle, so it's just half a circle. So imagine it was a whole circle. Then if I wanted the circumference of that or the perimeter of that, then I would do pi times 6. And I can just write that as 6 pi. Well, that would give me it as if it was a whole circle. And I know it's only half a circle. So if I want to do, if I want the semicircle, then I can do 6 pi divided by 2. 6 pi divided by 2 is just 3 pi. Now, 3 pi, that relates to this length here. That length there is 3 pi, because remember, I've cut my circle in half. 3 pi, well, pi is about 3, so we're saying that that length there, that curved length, is about 9 centimetres. Because I've done 3 times 3, I'm just roughly estimating what it might be. Now, I am still missing one length of this, um, this semicircle, and that's this length here. So what is that length? Well, I know that's the that's if that's three, then this is three. That's the diameter of my circle, so it's six. So my final answer is going to be six. Get off highlighter. Six for my straight length, and then plus three pi which is that curve length. So I've done it all without a calculator. I'm leaving my answer in terms of pi. So my final answer is just 6 plus 3 pi. Okay, any questions, then just email me. Have a great day.